Okay, now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes and talk about melatonin supplements. Current trends show a large increase in melatonin supplementation. A study by the National Institute of Health revealed that melatonin usage among adults in the U.S. more than doubled between 2007 and 2012, with an estimated 3.1 million Americans turning to these supplements. A key factor in this increase is likely the growing global awareness of sleep disorders and the search for a non-prescription solution. Before taking melatonin, it's important to appreciate that melatonin is a hormone made by your body and introducing hormones into your body can have a cascade effect. The Cleveland Clinic has published that melatonin supplements are not addictive, which by definition means you don't need to continually take more and more for the same effect. The Cleveland Clinic has also stated that there is no concrete evidence to show that melatonin supplementation will cause dependency on a supplement. But then they also have stated that there have not been any long-term studies done. So they're kind of speaking out of both sides of their mouth. Ultimately, it's important to keep in mind that the body is intelligent and self-regulating. And there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. If your brain is making melatonin adequately, and you introduce more melatonin by consuming the supplement, long-term, there will be consequences. The National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health stated that the safety of long-term use of melatonin is lacking. So while melatonin might be natural, it doesn't mean you should dive into the deep end with high dosages and use it day after day. Most healthcare experts agree that if you're going to do it, start with low and go slow. Even though melatonin supplements can have doses as high as 10 milligrams, most people respond well with as little as 0.2 to 0.5 milligrams. It's always best to begin with a lower dose to gauge how your body will react and then adjust if necessary. And always, always, always consult with a healthcare professional before starting it. There are potential risks to melatonin supplementation. While melatonin is a natural hormone and might seem benign, introducing any substance into the body always comes with its set of considerations, especially when consumed outside of its natural context or in doses far beyond what the body produces. It's essentially to weigh the potential benefits against the potential risks, ensuring informed decisions. One potential drawback is feeling over-sedated. At its core, melatonin's job is to signal sleepiness. However, overconsumption can result in feeling bogged down and drowsy, where even the simplest tasks seem impossible. Beyond the inconvenience, this poses a real danger. Think about tasks like driving or operating heavy equipment. Response times slow down, which can lead to accidents. Another potential risk of supplementing melatonin is creating hormonal imbalance. Melatonin doesn't operate in a vacuum. It interacts with and sometimes regulates various other hormones in our bodies. Melatonin is a cog in the machine of our endocrine system, which comprises numerous hormones that regulate things that can be taken for granted like growth, mood, metabolism, and reproductive health. When you introduce an external source of one hormone, even if it's naturally occurring, it can have a ripple effect on others. The most significant concerns have been raised about melatonin's potential effect on reproductive hormones. Melatonin has been shown to interact with the hormones that regulate the menstrual cycle, potentially affecting ovulation and fertility. High doses of melatonin might suppress the release of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone, essentially players in the menstrual cycle. Additionally, in men, high levels of melatonin might reduce the production of testosterone potentially influencing sperm production and libido. 
As I said earlier, melatonin interacts with cortisol, the primary stress hormone. While melatonin levels rise in response to darkness, signaling the body to prepare for sleep, cortisol levels typically peak in the early morning, preparing the body for wakefulness. Overconsumption of melatonin can disrupt this balance and cause mood disturbances, altered stress response, and even issues with immune function. There are also indications that melatonin may interact with the thyroid, which regulates metabolism. It's been suggested that melatonin can impact the release of thyroid-stimulating hormone and subsequently the thyroid hormones T3 and T4. This can potentially lead to disruptions in metabolic rate, body temperature, and overall energy levels. Some research has indicated that melatonin may influence insulin secretion, the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. While this is still an area of active investigation, there's potential for melatonin to affect glucose metabolism and insulin sensitivity. Drug interactions with various medications. Like a wild card, melatonin can unpredictably interact with several medications. Combining it with blood thinners might enhance their effect, increasing bleeding risk. Pairing with blood pressure medications could amplify their potency potentially causing dangerously low blood pressure levels. For those on medications regulating blood sugar, melatonin might disrupt their efficacy, posing challenges for diabetics. Other side effects include headaches, dizziness, and nausea. Introducing an outside chemical into your body can really feel like rolling the dice when it comes to side effects. With melatonin, some experience severe throbbing headaches, and there have been reports of disorienting dizziness and pervasive nausea that can last for hours. There's also the potential for unknown long-term effects. The long-term impact of using melatonin as a supplement isn't really known yet. Short-term clinical studies have been completed, but the long game remains unclear. Chronic use spanning years might have unforeseen consequences, potentially affecting natural melatonin production, altering sleep patterns, or influencing other physiological processes. Differences between synthetic and natural supplements. The debate of natural versus synthetic often hinges on purity and consistency. Natural melatonin derived from animal sources risk potential contaminants. On the flip side, synthetic melatonin birthed in labs promises purity, but varies vastly in quality across brands. It underscores the importance of sourcing supplements from reputable, transparent manufacturers. Thanks for watching this part of our melatonin series. I hope you've gotten a lot out of it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with anybody who needs it. And if you need more help with your sleep, we have multiple other videos for sleep, including five natural ways to improve your sleep health. And then we have a new daily habits coming out soon. So just pay attention for that one. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it.